vocabulary too. I'm a hit in the this is this is all brand new. Get through. I'm in the planetary and like Doctor Who. So who? Fuck your beat, no relief. I step on stage, girls scream like I'm key. What's up, everybody? It is Ring Time Pro Wrestling. Keith and Keisha in the building again. Keisha, say hi to the people. What's, What's going on, everybody? Hey. Um, I know, I, know I, sound I sound a little pulled back, back a little bit. bit. Uh, uh, my nose is running earlier. earlier. It's fine. It's fine now. now. I'm good, good now. now. It's, it's just, just that, that I just try. I try, I try to, to keep it together. together. Uh, uh, but, man, it's, 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 it's a little, little difficult sometimes. It's a little difficult sometimes. We are coming at you live and direct. Um, tonight we are on live. Um, the night before Snowmageddon Part 4 comes oh, to the Atlanta yeah. area. Uh, Keish, are you ready? I'm not, I'm not with, with the foolishness. No. Um, I'm not with the foolishness this weekend. This weekend. Really you, you work Saturdays now, so... Um, your job taking care of you or what you got to do or what you going to well, do? The, what they, what they, they told, told me, what my boss told, told me earlier today was, because we, we are, my, my building, building is right next to a double tree. tree. So, so they, they said, said, he said, said that, that that would be where uh, property, property management would have, have a say in the case that we get stuck up there. Now, now he, he didn't, didn't say, say nothing, nothing about uh, uh, bringing bring stuff, stuff just in case, case or, or just, none, none of that, that was a conversation. conversation. So, so I plan on coming home. home. Like, like I don't, I don't plan, plan on staying there and, and being, being up there. there. Like, like I don't, I don't plan, plan on doing anything except getting off at three o'clock and making my way back to college. Like that's it. Uh, uh, my, my crazy, crazy boyfriend, boyfriend is still planning on going to the Cheesecake Factory and everything else. Like, like he's, he's acting like this ain't even gonna happen. So, I mean, it's, it's, there hasn't been, been much discussion as far as work goes. goes. Uh, uh, what is the game plan, what we're gonna, gonna do, what possibly could happen. happen. Like, like, they, they haven't, haven't even, been, like, like Went as far as to talk about, about it, it, but they, they did, did have, have a meeting, meeting to, yesterday. Well, well today. today they had a meeting today. As far as, as like all the top people, you know, because they, they do it like once a week anyway. anyway. So, so I'm pretty sure tomorrow I'll, I'll find out, out like the extensive details of what I need to plan to do, and you know all that kind of stuff. So. What about, what about you, Keith? Keith? What, did, did your job, job say anything? anything? Like, like, I know that uh, Cobb County, County schools are getting out, out a couple, couple of hours early. early. But, yeah, um, well, here's the beauty. Um, I am Captain Snowman at my job. You can call me Jeezy. I am, I am Mr. Oh, Snowstorm. Oh, um, oh, pretty much they have already booked my room. So I tomorrow night will be uh somewhere in Cobb County Hotel next door to my building where I work. I almost said it and realized that hell no, I don't need people knowing where I work. Um so <laughs> yeah. Um I'm probably gonna podcast again tomorrow night. Um I ain't got shit else to do. So just understand, I'm probably gonna bring my microphone and everything to the hotel because I'm gonna be bored. So uh, understand that it is uh, going to be a long night, and I got a whole new Japan Kingdom, uh, Wrestle Kingdom to talk about. So yeah, it is going down. I ain't got like I said, nothing better to do. Uh, right. Neither here nor there. Uh, yeah, Keish. Here's the thing. I don't think it's gonna be what they think it's gonna be, but I always say that, right? And right. This is what happened three years ago. It went down. That's what ha- it, it right. went down, and I would tell you right now where I live now. If I come home, I can't go nowhere. Like I'm at the bottom of a hill. I live up a hill, and then I gotta come down to the bottom of it, right? So, right, ain't no way I'm getting out of here. Like we done bought enough food. Uh, they done bought firewood because it's just hey, if something go wrong, we it's just you ain't getting out of here. Then, if you could get oh, yeah. out, yeah. Then 
you know where I, you know I sit at the top of the hill on each side. So either way you go, when you get out, you got to go down another hill. Uh, you, you go pretty much crash and roll into something, right? So to prevent <laughs> prevent that, uh, yeah, I'll be staying at a hotel, and um, we'll see how that works out. Um, but yeah, we're prepared for the snow and ice or whatever. Um, now, for my listeners who live above the Mason Dixie, which I don't even know if that's a proper term to use in this in 2016. I don't think anybody defines the South by the Mason Dixie line, but hey, I'm going to use it today. Um, the southern states are not prepared for such an event, so this is how no. we got to live. Um, right. Whereas in growing up in Michigan, um, I used to have to get up in the morning before school because I had to shovel snow, so my mom would go to work. So, yep, that's that's the life. Um, right. Um, I just had. I just seen too many people, people on, on Facebook, Facebook already. already. This is how, how you, you know, know. Like, like one of my, my friend brothers, brothers had said, said "Oh, he was because he's from Michigan, Michigan. So, so he was, he was just, just up there like two and, two and a half weeks ago, ago. and." It was, it was like, like snowing snow everywhere because, you, you know, know it starts start snowing up there in like November. And then he was like, oh, yeah, everybody was just rolling around like nothing was going on. And it was like four or six inches outside and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So fast forward to now and like we haven't even gotten to the weekend yet to where like anything. We haven't even gotten to tomorrow where everything is actually supposed to happen and and the, the city, city is already, already like, like shut down. down. So, so I, I know on both sides, sides of this world, world where you, you go from, from a place where snow, snow is nothing and it's like, like everybody just lives their normal lives as if this stuff isn't even on the ground. ground. So being, being in a place, place where one of the four inches could shut, shut down an entire city. city. It's, it's comical, comical at times. But, but at, at the same, same time, time, it's also very ridiculously scary and retarded. retarded. Like, it's like, like, oh my God, seriously. seriously. So, um, um, I, just I just need for my job, job to get their lives together. together. Because, because if I'm, I'm going to be staying up there, there um, I need to know before I go to work. Because once I go home... I'm home. home. Like, like for, for me, me if the train stop running, running, I'm done. I'm done. Like, like that's, that's it for me. me. Like, I know, know there, there will be, be no uh, uh, pieces coming to work. work. I'm not. It's not happening. That, that is my only means of transportation, and I am not about. You can't just Uber your way to snow. Like this is not going to work. That's not going to happen. So, yeah, I'm need for somebody to give me a game plan about what's going to go down because. I need, I need to be prepared, prepared on that end. Now, now as, as far as, as home, home, your parents, parents have bought food. Um, everything's, everything's good here. here. Well, well not, not necessarily, but we'll talk about that later. later. So, so, anyway. anyway. Uh, uh, all right. that's uh, uh, That sounds kind of ominous. Um, but, yeah, it's going down. We're here. We're still recording. Uh, the chat room is open. Um, I'm going to get a phone number that y'all can call into. At some point, but right now we just have not done that because I mean, if not, why not? But just ain't done it yet. But we get y'all phone number. <laughs> I mean, we we just just now kind of got used to going live, so you know, go right. submit it. We working on it, and I think you guys will be presently surprised what, what we got going on this week. But uh, yeah, interesting weekend wrestling. Like I said, uh, New Japan kicked off the year with Wrestle Kingdom. Um, I'm going to have a complete breakdown for you. But, Keish, it was a nice event. Um, it was nice to see Cody. Just Cody. I, he not using the roads, I guess, because of copyright infringement issues. Because mm. the WWE won't even let the man have his damn name. But that's another story. Right. But uh, America's Nightmare. Dip, dip. His Bullet Club shirt is cold as fuck. <laughs> yeah, like it. it got color to it, you know what I mean, which is definitely not used to a Bullet Club shirt. But yeah, um, I I think Cody is adapted to his new role 
And I mean just the ability to work So many different places And do so many different things Like he works in TNA But he don't really work for TNA He do Global Force He do Global Honor Like he got one of them Del Rio contracts Where he's just like Look I, I wrestle anywhere Right Which is good Because that means That there's no Non-stop of Flow of money So yeah, no. Yeah, no. flexibility to, to be anywhere. anywhere. Like, it's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, get that check. Spit that exactly. check. Spit that check. <laughs> Spit it. Get it right back. Oh, see, Sorry. you had, had to be wrapped in the night. You had to be wrapped in the night. You could have kept, kept, kept it in there for like two seconds. seconds. Nope, nope. That just, just wasn't gonna happen. happen. Didn't know that was mm-hmm. in me. Really didn't know that was in me. Like, it just kind of came. I was like, whoa, hey. Where yeah. you come from? Uh, but yeah, I'm sitting here mm-hmm. perusing. Let me get to work because I will be sitting here looking at shoes half the night. And that is not what we are here uh, for. Uh, uh, no, no, no Keith, that's, that's not, not what we're doing. doing. I'm gonna need you to get your life together. together. Yeah. See, mm-hmm. so um, I have to be the one with some kind of reason for the show. Like, okay, that's, that's, fair. Cause that's fair. Because I, I love you too. That's fair. Uh, so we we get old, old point. Uh, there was raw this week. Um, decent show, D- decent enough. Uh, first raw of the year. It is twenty seventeen. We have been at this podcast almost six years, Keish. We have ushered in an era, and I think is beautiful. And I'm happy to be with you on this journey. As one of the leading uh, yeah, that's really uh, but yeah, that's it. Raw. Uh, Carl Anderson and Cesaro had a match to start off because I guess the the, the Bullet Club is going to challenge for the titles, and um, you know it worked out. Uh, Kish, how good is Cesaro? Let's get that. Guy. Every level, awesome. <laughs> Like, are like we, Cesaro is just great. Are like, we missing can, a boat? Is yes. he not? Should he not be in that world title picture? Yeah, yeah but, but you, you know, know what? what? Unfortunately, Unfortunately, there are more, more than, than one, one person, person that believes that Cesaro, Cesaro won't, won't be able, able to hold up to, to the level, level of. of Awesomeness, awesomeness that you need in, in order, order to carry the title. title. I, don't I don't think, think they, they think, think that, that he'll, he'll be over enough. He honestly they think, think he's, he's over, over enough, enough to carry the universe championship. championship. Like, like I, I really believe that they think that Cesaro is, is nothing more, more than like a great mid card. Like, like I, I, I seriously, seriously have come, come to the conclusion that you know no one really believes that he can be big time. Like, like that. that. Like, like they, don't they don't think, think that he's being it. I think, I think that everybody, everybody from, from creative, creative to the big wigs to the big, bigger, bigger big wigs, really just believe that Cesaro is great, great where he is as like, like a tag team, team uh, uh, competitor or as like an intercontinental champion or, or you know, know something, something like that. that. But, but I don't think anybody thinks that he should go anywhere past that. And that sucks because. I feel, I feel like Cesaro, Cesaro is seriously, seriously over, over and, and like, like I think that he can have a great title run, run if given the chance. chance. But you know, you there's, there's only a few of us that have that actual sentiment towards, towards him. him. So yeah, yeah. I, I, I personally, personally am a fan. I'm I'm, I'm in, in the Cesaro, Cesaro section, section, and I always, always have been. been. Um, and that's not going to change. Yeah, no, I agree. Like um, here's the thing. I think whoever is, whoever don't like him, I will say, because I've heard some criticism. I've heard people think that he had, he doesn't have enough charisma and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, I think he does. And I know he's in a place that ignores fan reaction. I know he's in a place where, hey, man, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of people that they got at the top tier and people they want to mix in but I just feel like yo this guy I don't think there's somebody who's naturally as strong as he is I think he has an incredible move set 
I think he could really add something to that world title picture, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, you have a good match with everybody, but you know, right? I, I know it's more than that. And I, I, I'll let it slide, but Keisha, yeah, I'm just wondering, like, what, what are we doing here with this guy? But I like him in tag right. teams. I love him in tag teams. Always have, right? When they got him to the WWE right. and they tried to make him a singles competitor, I'm like, y'all missing the boat. Y'all got the the kings of wrestling, and the first thing y'all did was split him up. Right. Exactly. And I don't know what that was about. But then with Cesar, I'm like, okay, he could make make it work with him. And then they wouldn't book him. They had him as a U.S. T- champion and didn't have him on like pay per view cards. But you know, to each his own. Um, I thought the match was decent, and uh, I thought everybody accomplished what they needed to accomplish. Uh, Braun Strowman uh, broke Sami Zayn in a, a false count anywhere match, but in defeat and probably near, near death injury. Do you think Sami Zayn proved something? Yes, yes, I, I, yes, yes he, he did. did. Yes, yes, he did. did. Sammy proved that he can hang with the best of them. Sammy proved that he's tougher than he looks, and that even though he comes out and he's loved by the crowd, and you know, and all that kind of stuff, like Sammy proved that he has the level of aggression that he needs in order to get the job done. Sammy Zane just proved to the world and everybody around him that he can definitely hold his own. Period. I don't, it don't, it don't matter the size of the competitor, competitor don't matter, you know, know the, strength the strength of the competitor, competitor now, even, even though things, things are not, not going in his favor, favor that, that wasn't was the point. point. The, the point, point is, is that, that he actually was able to last as long as he did because of himself. You know, once you have developed the confidence and enough aggression and, you know, intensity that he had during that match. Like, that's it. So, I think he proved a lot, personally. Okay. I will go with that. Um, I mean, first, I mean, I honestly, honestly thought, thought that he was going to... Part of you, you and I'm not going to sit here and deny that I didn't think this at one point. point. But I really, part of you really just believe that he's going to go out there face because he's facing Braun Strowman. So he's going to go out there and just get completely smashed in like two minutes and then that's it, it's over, you know? Yeah. And that's what we've seen when he first, when he first faced Braun, that's what we saw, you know, but it didn't happen the last couple of times. Mm. I don't, I don't know. know. And, and I'm not being biased because I love Sammy Zane. Like, trust me, I thought I'm totally stuck. I just, 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 just put it that way because there's plenty of wrestlers that I think totally suck. But we'll, we'll get to that at another time. time. Yeah. So. But that's, that's me. me. I mean, like, I don't know. I mean, I I was trying to figure out was this a vehicle for him or Braun? The double truth you can't really tell. Well, Well, I can't can't really tell. tell Because he looked looked strong strong during the match and then he was was fast fast at the end. end. So it's like, like, I don't know if they were just just trying to do that that so that that they can show how tough Sammy is or like if they, they can, can just show, show like, like how, how dominant Braun can be. Like, like it just, I don't know. It, it was, was really confusing, confusing especially when you got somebody, somebody like Braun Strowman like, like turning over, a, turning over, over a person on a stretcher. Like, like it's, it's just kind of like, like okay, okay, like seriously, was that really, really necessary though? Like it really wasn't. wasn't. You know, I feel like Braun has done enough with his size and strength to where he doesn't need to do like rules to the shit like that. Um, but for, for Sammy, Sammy it's just, just a different, different story, story, 
you know, know like, like he made him look, look so awesome, awesome and then he loses like, like it's like I don't, I don't know. know I don't know how to really feel about the situation so. here's the thing I think right now we have a situation where we got where both guys are going to get over right like I think we've right. established Braun as the bruiser right We've established Braun right. as a dangerous player in the game. But we've established that Sami Zayn got some fight back, right? And right. he couldn't slay Goliath yet. And in a story, I would I would be surprised if they if they want to use Sami Zayn down the line for something bigger. Then when they put Braun Strowman in front of him, he'll have something to prove. And then it'll be, can he get by? The big giant it did he'll overcome so I mean I like I like the way the table is set right now um, but yeah I, I thought both guys did what they needed to do and I have the weirdest note in the middle of this yeah I see that yeah. <laughs> like, I, I didn't even realize like, until I started, I started reading I'm like oh what the hell is that guy do anything uh, so <laughs> I was going to ask you, like, like during, like, the, the break, break or, or something, something, but... Like, it's the third line. That. I, I must have been... T- <laughs> you know what? I, I might have been falling asleep doing the notes and I just typed that in. Like, I was <laughs> going But the <laughs> funny part about it is you kept, kept going. going. And, it, and everything, everything else fit perfectly. And it's just kind of like, like, huh? Yeah, everything else made sense. That's why I was kind of thrown off. Like, what the hell? And it wasn't like, okay... <laughs> I know when I fall asleep at the keyboard and just whatever, but no, this was like a sentence. Like this was like, what the hell? This guy doing anything? I mean, and it's It's funny because the sentence sentence actually like like, for the the most most part makes sense, sense. but But at the the same same time, time, it really really doesn't. Because it's like, like, huh? Like once I read the sentence, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, and then I and then I ask the question, what does this have to do with anything? So I don't know. I I thought maybe you. I thought, I thought you, you knew, knew and was going to explain it, it and, and then, like, I was, I was the one, one that was lost, but, you know, yeah. I'm good. It don't make sense with anything that I wrote this week. <laughs> but, yeah, so that that's happening. But, so Xavier, I mean, Titus O'Neil tried to join the New Day, or it felt like he could be one of the, you know. Yes, he said that he, he could replace, replace Xavier, Xavier Woods. Woods. And Xavier, Xavier Woods was, was a weakling. Like, right, so, so he decided that he would be a better fit for the new day. day. Like, right, forget Xavier, Xavier, I think I, think I should, should be the one in the new day. day. So, so, of course, Xavier, Xavier took a full of sense to that. And was like, I am not a weak link. Yeah. yeah. So then we ended, we ended up with this match with Xavier Woods and Titus O'Neill. I don't even know, know how to really, really explain it. it. Like, like, it's, it's just, just kind of like, like, okay, did, did you not have anything for either one of them and decided that we needed to see Xavier Woods in a match? Because it's not like Xavier doesn't, doesn't wrestle when he, he you know, know, while he's with the New Day. Because we've seen him plenty of times in uh, title defenses and tag team matchups. But I guess, I guess decided, decided. I guess, I guess this was one time where they decided, decided that he needed a single competition. He needed a single competition um, without anybody else being involved or whatnot. Not, so, I mean, the New Day was still ringside, but they never got involved in the match. So, and he won. Yeah, no, I I thought it was a good match. Um, it didn't really do that for Titus, but I thought Xavier looked decent, and I mean, he got to get some ring ring time in. Um, is announced New Day will be in the Royal Rumble, which we kind of figured because, hey man, you got to get thirty people from somewhere, right? Um, right. So yeah, they'll be in the Rumble. I think uh, they. We got to see what they're gonna do with them next, right? So, well, eventually they'll come back looking for the tag team titles, but they got to occupy their time right now. So maybe some people will have some solo pursuits. Maybe they'll gang up on some people. Who knows? But we'll see. Maybe they'll try to be like a U.S. champion, like all three of them. Share the belt. I don't know. <laughs> but good for them. Uh, good for Xavier. Uh, Titus. I don't know what they're going to do with Titus. Um, 
Drew Gulak beat Cedric Alexander. Not really that to talk about. Roman Reigns beat Jericho, but that, I mean, that's to be expected. Rusev and Jinder Mahal beat Big Cass in a handicap match. Now, they jumped uh, Cass and Enzo last week. Enzo now is legit hurt, I guess, so now he can't really be in the match. Um, Keish, is Jinder on some, uh, how do I say? Has he been playing baseball or something? I'm trying, I'm trying to figure, to figure out, out like, like I don't know, I don't know what, what it is with gender, but I'm, I'm just, just kind of like, like what is this like, like, like <laughs> I'm just saying like, like I okay, really don't, don't know, know like, like in my freshman year of football in college there was another guy on the team named Keith actually there was like there was like four guys on the team named Keith at, the, at this time uh, but this guy Keith he was uh, playing running back I hope I didn't talk too far out of school where people can nail down who I'm talking about even though if you went to school with me at that time, you know who the hell I'm talking about anyway. But man, after the season, our off-season workout program, this dude was looking crazy. I was right. like, ain't no way he not on the... And he's, he, he, he contended that he wasn't, but then he got into an incident where his Roy Rage came out. And I was like, ooh, okay. Yeah. General <laughs> Hall, man. Right. That dude, hey, no shade. Hey, get your mail how you get it. But bruh, you right. can tell. Hey, you you, you I, made I a com- you made a commitment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't I don't think he's gonna, gonna be taking any uh wellness. No, he not he might be a part of wellness policy. Or hey man, maybe P ninety X is kicking ass. That's all. Maybe I, I don't I'm know. Just I'm just saying I'm just speculating. There's no, yeah. there's no he, way in, in sh- ring time pro wrestling there's no way making any definite statements about anybody this is all pure speculation which we are allowed to do by the law so hey just in case yeah, somebody yeah. want to sue fuck you right. man. fuck your lawyers too but <laughs> I mean all I'm saying, saying is I've, I've seen, seen like I, I literally, literally recently, recently just watched, watched like some past Royal Rumble where Jinder Mahal was like, like it was his, his first, first like couple, couple of years, years in the WWE, WWE. 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 and he was never he never looked like, like he looked now. now it's WWF so, podcast we, we, I'm, we, not, we, I'm not we, I'm not we, we, we do it now it's the WWF here alright right. of course but we do I but saw he, a World Wildlife Commercial Federation commercial yesterday and I said I don't respect y'all but because <laughs> Right. Um, um, but he, he he didn't, didn't look, look anywhere, anywhere close, close to what he looks like now, and it's just kind of like, like sir. I'm I really need you to not think, not think that, that we don't, don't notice, notice this gradual growth, growth in your body. body. Like, like, can you, you please, please get your, get your life together? Like, <laughs> like, like seriously. seriously. Um, um, if, if you, you really, really think, think that, that no one's noticing it, we all notice. Just now. Like, like just, just for future, future reference, reference. And, and for you, you to understand, understand. We, we all see it. it. The end. end. Like, like that's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. Just me. Like I just, just... anyway. So, so. But, but I'm, I'm so, so done with this whole Rusev and Jinder Mahal thing. Anyway, so I just can't. Honestly, I feel like you get Rusev new life. Um, it's not. It's not exactly League of Nations. You know what I mean? Right. right. But I think it gives him new life. I think he might be able to pull something out of this. It won't be, you know, the best, but I think he he got something. Um, but you know, we'll see. Uh, going down the line here, Bailey defeated Nia Jax to be the number one contender. Which was uh, awesome. Now, don't get me wrong. I've seen Bailey defeat Nia Jax before in NXT. And what I liked about the WWE, they found a way to take a match that has happened before and figure out an ending that would be different but still get you the same result. Exactly. Uh, Sasha came down to distract Nia, so I know what the next feud is with Sasha, which, poor baby. Yeah. Like, whew, poor, poor, poor baby. I mean, because Nia, whew, that's... Do you see the way she tossed them chicks? Yeah, I see the way she. I mean, like it's nothing. Like yeah, it, nothing. It's like, kind of ragdollish, right? But right. Um, yeah. So 
Uh, she just tried, and then Bailey went for a Bailey to be- belly to Bailey from the second rope. I'm like, that's adventurous. Right. Exactly. But she nailed it. Uh, so she's gonna go on to face Charlotte, which I think they're gonna think have a decent feud. Yeah. yeah, I believe they are too. Um, um I, believe I believe that, that it's, it's going, going to be very interesting to see. Um, on the uh, main roster stage, it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be, going to be greatness, and I can't, can't wait because I'm so. I have to honestly say, it'll, it'll be a breath of fresh air for. Uh, uh, for, for all of, of for, for, for the, the fans, fans that are sick and tired of seeing Charlotte and Sasha, because there are people out there, there that are just, just tired of it all the way around. So they'll, they'll be glad to see something, something different. different. Um, can, can I, I can, just, can, can I just, just say that, that I can't stand Stephanie McMahon? Like I really can't. I she gets she makes me sick. Like I'm I'm gonna put it out there and say it myself. This no no way shape or form reflects the way he feels. But, but trust and believe, believe Keisha can't stand that. I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. there. Like, like, I never I could, could, I never will. will. Like, like, I just can't stand her. her. Like, she just, she hurts all of my nerves. nerves. Like, like, every time, time she talks, talks I just don't like choke. Like, like, it's just... just <sighs> like, Stephanie like, McMahon like, invokes, like, the worst ones in me. Like, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of be like, oh my God, I hate you. Like, like the, the way, way that she, she spoke, spoke to Bailey, Bailey like, like I really just wanted to smash her face. Like it was, it was just, just kind of like, why? Like, are you serious? I didn't want you here. Well, well Steph, Steph won't give a shit, shit what you want. want. You know? Yeah. Okay. Like, like of, course of course your course employees, employees do because they work for you. you. But, but I don't work for you, so I can say that I I don't give a shit you want. So like I said, this is Keisha Hope talking, not Keith. So for those of you that just really just. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, just, just going to put, put it out, out there. there. Um, this, this is me, myself, myself giving, giving my, my own personal, personal opinion. opinion. And, and there's, there's no, no way, shape, or form, place, place time, time for wrestling, wrestling or keep hoping anything, anything that he thinks, he thinks about, about you. you. But, but I'm, I'm telling you now, now, I can't say anything. That's, that's, that's just the end of that. that. So. Well, I will say, Stephanie, you, of all people, understand what it's like to have a sibling that you may disagree with. Um. I, for one, think Stephanie McMahon is a wonderful person. I think she is a beacon of light in this dark, dreary world. And I hope that she finds my job application soon and uh, we go <laughs> to stay crazy. So, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, nope, nope, nope. We, we here at Ringtime Pro Wrestling love all the McMahons. Linda McMahon, mm-hmm. Shane McMahon, Ed McMahon. <laughs> we love our big beds. I think Ed McMahon is awesome. awesome. Like, like, I think Shane's awesome. awesome. Hey, is Ed um, is Ed still in the league? It, I don't know. That's, that's something, something that we have, have to look into. Uh, okay. I mean, we got that's a question, question I can't answer. answer. But like, I don't, I don't know for sure. And I sometimes I be wondering, like, hey man, is he is he still in the league? Uh, <laughs> Ed McMahon is no longer in the league. Ed McMahon died oh, okay. in 2009. Wow. He has been dead like eight, eight years and I had no clue. Uh, <laughs> the funny thing with Ed, do you know Ed had like a 10-year-old when he was dead? Not when he died, but I'm trying to think. When he was like 70, he had like a 10-year-old. I'm like, this dude is mean. Like, <laughs> no, I, I, Keish, I think that that is selfish. I don't care what nobody say. Old men do that. I think that is selfish. It is selfish. selfish. I, like, dude, dude, seriously, that's just awful. awful. Like, like, you really you have, have to look at somebody sideways when they do, do stuff, stuff like that. that. It's like, like for real. real. But I, I okay. Okay. Right. No, I do what he was like fifteen when his daddy died. And I'm like oh, seventeen maybe now. But yeah, I was just like, Oh wow. Like old dad. You know what I mean? Like you like oh, right. I I I'm not playing catch though. <laughs> not <laughs> anyway. anyway. Okay. Look, I'm not gonna with you. you. All right. We won't so, get back to the show. So look, the final part of Raw, KO show happens. 
Goldberg is a guest. It gets tense. Goldberg would have whooped their ass would have started the show. Um, of course. Paul Heyman shows up. The show really breaks down. Then Roman Reigns shows up. And you think Roman Reigns and Goldberg about to fight. And they, 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 they kind of tease a mini short-term thing going to happen between them two. Who knows? Uh, then Braun Strowman comes down because Braun got to let you know that, hey, it's about me. And then there's the double spear to kind of finish off the show. Which is awesome. Those guys go their separate ways. And it's like, ooh, all right. Well, at least you, you – but here's the thing. I did like them taking Braun out right away. But at the flip side of it, it took – your top two two of your top guys basically right like it took the two best spears you had to to take out the big monster so okay if that's what it's taking that you have to have that as a level established that's the dark that you have to decide to take down that big dude right and I would still have Braun come to this Royal Rumble and do a Kane or a Roman Reigns where he eliminates at least 10 people and makes it really messy, and then you know he'll he'll get beat by like something real stupid, like some he'll he'll fall over the rope. Uh, right. Sammy Zayn hold the rope down while he fall over. You know what I mean? That we'll, we'll let that be that. But uh, so that happened. So as per usual, about this time, we will take our breaks. We got birthdays. We got news. Which pretty much the news is what's gonna carry this show, because. Um, Something happened that we knew kind of had a potential happening, but we didn't know it was going to happen. Then we just thought it probably would never going to happen, but it did. And wow. All 2017. All 2017. Oh, hey, 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 is it fair to say Drake won 2016, Keys? I think he might have won. Yeah, he might have. I mean, he ended it with Jennifer Lopez. Lopez so. That's what I'm saying. Like, J Lo? Uh, yeah, yeah. What, the hell? Hell? what is this herb doing? Like, like, like he literally, literally showed, showed us to like, like one of her concerts, concerts and like, like now they're like, like a couple. Like, it's like, like for real. I'm just saying, a couple of years ago, he was getting slapped in the face by Puffy at Live, and right now he's with Jeff Lopez. Uh, mm-hmm. all, all I say, people keep striving, keep keep trying, keep going to be the <laughs> one. Yeah, because they, they, like, like he, he showed up backstage at like one of her concerts one day, and then kind of sounds like a stalker. And, yeah. yeah, so that's how that kinda goes. Kind of sounds kind of creepy, but and anyway, uh, I think I think the guy might have won twenty seventeen, twenty sixteen. Sorry, twenty seventeen hasn't been done yet, but uh. We're a break. We'll be back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a taste of it a little early on here on Saturday night's main event when the madness melt the mania. I'm talking about Macho Madness and Hulkamania, two mega powers beating here tonight. Hulk Hogan, what's happening? Well, you know me, geez, we really don't know what we're dealing with here, man. And I'm just kind of a little worried about walking up here and so because we just might pull the whole planet up, you know. Everybody knows that Hulkamania is the strongest force in this universe. But when I get that crazy, and I saw what the madness was all about, I realized there was a whole other universe out there, a whole other frontier, and the power of the madness and the mania just blew my 24-inch guns out. Ladies and gentlemen, there's another solar system watch over here. Please, 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 you endorsed Macho Man this and gave me direction. Yeah. Direction now. 
Sometimes I hear Macho and Hogan promos, and I'm thinking, like, they had a lot of cocaine. You know what? what? Just why? I mean, seriously. Like, they had, I mean, you could just tell the coke-infused promos. Like, it, it, it's very jittery. It's a little too much coffee going on. Like, oh, wow, yeah, they, they, they just hit a line before they came out and did this one. Like I mean, you know, it was eighties wrestling. They they did cocaine quiche. It's all right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I ain't gonna do that. Mm-hmm. Well, we, we all, all kind of knew, knew like there like, was just something, something going on. on. I mean, it wasn't excited all the time, right? Like, like remember, remember when, when we, we was talking about, about uh, Mojo Riley, Riley and his, his level, level of hypeness? Yeah, yeah, like, like they, they had, had that little hypeness, hypeness and, and it was just, just kind of like, 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 like you, you can't, can't possibly have this little hypeness, hypeness like, like naturally, like, like what the fuck? fuck. So, well, well, well I mean, if you, you didn't know it, man, you better have. Yeah. Like, like seriously. seriously, all you like, had to do was ask somebody. Anybody would have told you that. Like, dude, where you been? That, that just would have been a no one question. Like, like seriously, is that, that a serious question? question? Where have you been? But uh, this is our birthday segment. We will get to the birthday. Birthday. Uh, earlier this week, on the third, which would have been like three days ago, Jim Ross celebrated mm-hmm. a birthday. Good old Jr. Um, Two days ago, it was uh, the late great Chris Kane's birthday. Uh, today, Ludwig Borga celebrates a birthday. Ludwig turns fifty six. Uh, no, I'm sorry, he turns fifty three. I uh, just fifty four. I'm fucking all the bath up. Uh, you know, Jacqueline is gonna be fifty one. Are you serious? Yeah, Jacqueline turns fifty one today. This Jacqueline don't look. look. Not, Not like, like one, one bit, bit of 50. 50. Like, are, are you serious? serious? Yeah, yeah. It's going down. Um, so, time for the news, which is our favorite time. Um, of course. Alberto Del Rio or Alberto Del Patrol. Uh, it's El Patrol, and I put Del Patrol, like Del Taco. Um, <laughs> was arrested in Austria uh, at a nightclub have, for fighting with his brother. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Um, they got into a fight for some reason. Um, they ended up fighting at the police station where they went. They got down to the police station. Um, his brother's also a wrestler. He's wrestling in Mexico. Um, he's back in Mexico. Alberto's back in the States. Uh, they've both been released since then. But yeah, apparently him and his brother got drunk. And, you know, a fight always finds Alberto. Like, yeah, always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he's out, he always finds a fight. Like, right. I don't know if it's that ex MMA fighter in him or what, but like that's that like dog. Some you might not need to go out that much. No, no he, he doesn't. doesn't. He, he really, really doesn't. doesn't. Like he, he is crazy, crazy how, how much he actually gets, gets, gets into fights. Fight. Like, 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 is it? I'm, I'm trying to really just believe it's just him. him. Like, like I. I I don't, I don't think, think the fight's fine. I, I think he's fine. No, yeah. I mean, think about it. Look, wrestlers ain't that famous nowadays. Think about, when he was with the WWF, right? Him and Drew McIntyre hanging out. Some dude roll up in front of him at the hotel. You know what I mean? And, him right. and Drew, Drew got dragged into it, too. Right? So there's that one. 
right, David right. Page out. Some dude ran up on him. I was stabbing him in the back of the head. You know what I mean? Like, this, he always got his name in a fight. Like, he's an 80s wrestler. You know, back right. then, before lawsuits, dudes fought all the time. Hey, man, people will sue you nowadays. You can't be out here fighting all reckless. Exactly. It's foolish. Like, like it's, it's like, like okay. okay. Like, like, why, why are, are you really uh, out, out here just, just like, like all over the place? place like, like this fight. Like, like and, and we, we know, know, we both know, know that uh, I, I personally just know, know that it's, it's him. him. Like, 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 like there's, there's no, no way, way you're gonna sit here and tell me. That oh you, you know, know people they just they see they see him so they, they just start to just come up to him and, and you know just, just talk shit to him no 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 I mean he no, no it's, it's not like that. that who would like to start a fight um uh, right yeah uh WWE Network debuts a new show after all called Bring It to the Table uh hosted by Peter Rosenberg from Hot ninety seven. Uh, at Paul Heyman, JBL, and they discuss controversial topics. What? Hey, man, Rosenberg already get enough checks. WWE, y'all like to think about your boy? No hate. Just a little. Okay. Um, also, uh, they discuss some topics. Uh, JBL discussed the idea of fans that could play. <sighs> and this is what I'm going to say to JBL. Get over it. For everybody who right. ever worked in wrestling, and get get over it. Fans go complain, and fortunately, they got an internet now, so y'all got to hear it. Or you can turn off your phones, turn off whatever devices that you use. But hey, you go hear about the complaints. Also, I some complaints are asinine, but um, some of them not keys. Yeah, some of y'all just got right. unrealistic. You know what I mean? Like you ain't even trying to be real. So look, I, no need for nothing. You know what I mean? Right. right. Same old damn pay a bit speeches. You know what I mean? Like no, 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 no. Y'all think that y'all have the right to exist in this world, do what y'all do, screw up, and be like, nah, y'all shouldn't say that about it. Oh, we gonna talk. Bye bye. Now, I'm not going to assault you. I ain't going to talk about your kids or, you know, so that your daddy funny looking or nothing like that. But I will say, like, when you screw up. And I know what I blame creative. I know what I blame the boys. I know what I blame You know what I mean? Right. Like, like you, you know, know who to talk, talk about. about and, and you know, know who to place the blame on. on and, and you, you know, know who's responsible. There's a difference in all of this. Really? So. so that happened uh, Trent Beretta tweeted out uh, a picture of his WWE royalty check and I think he was trying to do it as a joke and honestly Keith what? yeah it was okay he put out a check uh, uh, the, not even the whole check but just like the, what, the date and like the amount for it it was his royalty check for the WWE it was $73 right, right? And I think he was right. doing it as a joke, like, oh, the big buddy, da da da, this company, da da da. Uh, Keish. I like Trent. I'm a big fan of Rapagu Vice. Which, coincidentally, what the uh, IWGP uh, Junior uh, tag titles a couple days ago. But neither here nor there right now. Uh, if he meant that as a joke, I don't know how I came across the sub people. But I think, hey, the WWE must pay really well. Because what has Trip Beretta done that you make you think he he, he going to get some royalties? That's, That's what I'm saying. saying. Like, <laughs> seriously? I didn't know he was getting royalties. Ooh. Right. Think about how long ago Trip been in the WWE. Think about, go ahead, name your favorite Trip Beretta match. I'll wait. Game? Like, is that, that even possible? possible? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, he might have had a total of four pay per view matches ever. You know what I mean? 
Like, I'm trying, I'm trying to, figure to figure out, like, like what did he even go by as in the WWE? Did, did he go by Trent 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 Trent? Trent? Yeah, I think so. Like, was that his name? Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I, it's, 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 I had the honor to say he. I didn't even know who the hell he was. I was like, huh? What? Yeah. No, I was just saying because you probably didn't watch a lot of 2007 SmackDown because that's the only time you could have caught it. It had to be in the, specifically the SmackDown brand, like 2006 to 2007, and you might have caught a glimpse. If not, if you right. did, it wasn't that rememberable if you caught the glimpse. So, yeah, that's why I was like, he straight out said, he check, like, damn. They still see checks like that? Like, I, it's not that a lot of money, but, like, eh. For his level of effort, you know what I mean? Right. He's getting, he's the fact that he's getting anything, anything at all is, like, like, hilarious. The royalty must be pretty good. It'd be, like, it'd be different if, like, um, who was a good contributor? But, like, Al Snow tweeted out that check. You know what I mean? I'd be like, oh, yeah, that would be easy. Right. Totally different story. story. Okay. Considering, Considering who, who uh, Al, Al Snow, Snow is, is and, you know, all that, that kind of stuff, stuff. Like, that, that'd, that'd be, be a totally, totally different, different story. story. But Trent Beretta and the $73 check is like, like, huh? Like, like you, you actually are getting a check? check? Like, like, I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. Shocking to me. That's what I, that's like, that's one thing I can say. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, oh, he got a check. All right, cool. Um, so uh, Jimmy Superfly Snooker will not uh finish his murder trial. The charges have been dropped by the court. Uh, they feel like Jimmy ain't capable of going through a trial, so they not go subject wow. his his old butt to the trial. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I guess you know what I mean. Right, exactly. exactly. I mean, he's in the area, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, nope. nope. I would sit here and say that I had mixed feelings about it, but I really don't. Like, I just, I don't know, even, I don't really know how to feel about it. It's just kind of like, okay. Well, that's not what's going to happen, then, you know, whatever. Like, I don't know, like, what they even say. He's a murder charge, like. Yeah, I mean, I guess they're from 1983. Uh, they say that the old man, he ain't got it all. And, you know, this is what I would say, do. I have somebody check it out a little closer. Just see what's up. <laughs> Just see what's up. Okay. But I think, Snooker, uh, here's the thing. I guess if you believe in a higher power, stuff like that, that if he did really do what people think he did that one day he'll meet his maker and have to deal with it you know what I mean like he just won't get no earthly judgment that's all right Right. so I mean that's That's all it is so I don't know I can't get to the big part of this all right so it came across my timeline because Keish tagged me in something. And I said, what's she tagging me in in the middle of the day? It said, no, got Dixie that. Carter is out as chairman of Impact Wrestling. I mm-hmm. said, what? Yes, apparently Anthem Sports and Entertainment have announced they have formed a new company. Uh, they, they will be the parent company of TNA Wrestling. The company is called Anthem Wrestling Exhibitions and will be overseen by Ed Nordholm as president. Dixie Carter has resigned as chairman of Impact Ventures, the former parent company of TNA. She will remain with Anthem in an advisory role and minority, more minority equity shareholder. Pretty much, they're going to tell her, shut up and get in the corner. Here goes a little bit of money. Exactly. Keish. How long have people been fighting and clawing and dreaming of a day that Dixie Carter was not running TNA? Um, as as far as I know, know, it's it's been been years. Like, Like, I mean, years. Like, Like, people, people, some people people have been dreaming about that day since since day day one. one. Like, Like, literally. So, they have been been waiting. I mean, they're all waiting. This company is still open, and that's amazing. But, 
this company had a chance to be the legit number two company in the United States, right? Right. right. That shit is blown. Um, and I don't know when they'll get if they'll get back to that point ever. But I do know this. Um, they weren't gonna be able to do it with Dixie. Like I think she had proven that she was not adept at doing this. But she was a money mark, and they, she had access to a paycheck that was able to keep everybody lights on. Right. Right. So. Um, I'm, I'm not, not sitting here going to sit here and actually say I'm shocked, shocked. Um, because, because then I'll be lying. lying. But, but what, what I, I will say is that this has come, come at, a at a time where I didn't, I didn't actually think, think it would ever happen. happen. Because, because of the simple, simple fact of the road TNA has, has been going down, down and everything, I really seriously thought Dixie was just going to kind of sink with the ship, you know? Yeah. Like, I really, I really thought, thought that she was going to go down with everything and everybody, and everybody and just fight it out. But, but I, I guess, guess in a way, this is her way of bowing out um, and being done. done. Because, because um, they, they now are the majority, majority they're, they're the majority, majority situation. situation. Right, right. So, so now they, they get to, <laughs> they're the ones making the decisions, decisions and everything. And everything and, and, She's, she's just, just kind of, at, at this point, point she's, she's just kind of on the scene, scene, but not really on the scene. scene. So, in a way, to me, like, like it's already pretty much stuck. Like, it's Yeah, I mean, here's it's the thing. Done. Um, this is what they wanted, Anthem. Because the people at Fight Network, when Billy Corgan was trying to get control of the company, they was like, Billy, here go your bread. We'll take care of that. We'll, we'll assume your low, right? Billy didn't right. want to do that. Billy was trying to get the company. Uh-uh. Fight Network wouldn't have it. Uh, gave it up. So, it is what it is. Right. And, uh, yeah. Fight Network already owned a tape library, which I think could be invaluable to them. They can do one of two things. They can start licensing some of that material to the WWE. So, when they start doing their DVDs and stuff. But. Right. Yeah. They, they uh, they got to create new memories, new content. But yeah. Fight Network has been one of the largest distributors of Impact Pro Wrestling, and I think they have a very vested interest in making sure that that that, that brand lives on worldwide and increase their revenues. And I, I'm i excited to see what happens. Uh, but, yeah, Dixie Price should never be running the company. No. no. So... But that's all pretty much over now. So, yeah, advisory board. Yeah, you're right. As when you put on as an advisory person, yeah, that's how I see you. I see you as a person that's supposed to sit over, sit over to the side, look pretty, and do nothing. Like it's like, all right, we got this. We good. Right. So, um. TNA is doing a one night only pay per view uh, this weekend. I mean, I knew they was doing what in January, but they do a bad job of setting this stuff up. Uh, like who got time to order that shit? So I mean, like, or you know, who had right. money to sit around? <laughs> right. But that that was that. Um, I heard rumors that. Uh, TNA was going to try to bring back Jeff Jarrett in a consultant role and I think that would be very helpful for the company I think so too yeah. I think it's time, time for him to just hang it up, up you know yeah. I don't know I guess, I guess I'll, I'll just, just wait, wait and see what happens, happens and, and hope, hope for the for best. best yeah that's about all I can do, do. Yeah, we'll see what, how, how it goes now. Uh, so, we got SmackDown this week. Uh, uh, Angry Miz opened up the show. And uh, he got a visit from Dean Ambrose. Because we tied Renee Young into the story. And how you feel about Renee Young being involved in the actual storyline? Oh, my, oh my God, God, I love, I love it. it. I'm not, I'm not even, even going to lie, lie to you. you. I, I would sit here and act as, as if, if I wasn't, wasn't with, with it. And, and it's just, I, love I love it. it. I love, I love it. it personally. I don't because, because to me, 
I don't, I don't feel she needs, needs to do, do anything. anything. Like, like as, as far as, as like, like actually, uh, like, like they're actually throwing in some, some kind of possibility of her wrestling, wrestling or, you know, you know something, something like that. that. I, I think, think it's fabulous. fabulous. Personally, Personally, I think it's an awesome, awesome idea. idea. No, no, she, she don't, don't have to necessarily like a company being down to the ring or, you know, make any kind, kind of, of like, like extra, extra gestures, gestures to suggest that, that she's, she's going to be anything, anything more than where she's, she's at right, right now. now. But, but personally, I, I find it actually kind of funny. funny. And, and I'm glad that they decided to include her in the storyline because this isn't something, something new, new like, like to me, you know, yeah, this is something new because she still was in the role of like a full time journalist. As, as opposed, opposed to, to like, like Renee, Renee Young, Young, the possible rest, the real, uh, yeah, yeah, Renee Young, Young possible rest. Like, like we, don't we don't see that, that happening, and I'm, I'm glad. glad. Um, um, there's, there's no transition. There's, there's no like thing of oh, I want to fight Marie, so you know, you know nothing, nothing like that. that. It's just she was offended. She defended that, and now you know she just just kind of just is still, still there, there in the background, background a bit, but not, not so, so much, much as to we don't know what's going on, or uh, uh, don't, don't know that she's being there, there, but at the same, same time, it's, 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 to me, I feel, I feel like she's evolved enough, enough but right. not too much. I mean, yeah, they've, used, right. they've used her, she's a part of the show, I mean, she's tied to the total divas and stuff like that for this purpose, I guess. But, right. um, yeah. Uh, I I can't mix feelings. You know, I I don't like to involve everybody's relationship. Like I I would like to leave some stuff off screen. That, that is true. true. Um, that, that now, now the way, way that they, they brought, brought it in, in was, was the, the was the, the thing, thing I that I hated. Yeah. Um, I hated, I hated that, that they even went that route. route. But, but I don't, I don't mind her being involved. You know what I'm saying? saying? Like, I, I don't, don't, but I just, I just hate the way that it was, that the reason she's involved in it in the first place and how it was created. You know what I'm saying? saying? Like, like there's, there's other, other ways, ways that this could have happened without her, without them breaking up her and Dean's relationship. Because I can think of a few, actually. But... I think the fact that they have a relationship that's kind of like it's now on screen but it was kind of off screen old screen because it was old screen on a reality show that people I don't know here's the thing I think sometimes because there's so much information and there's so much going on like the internet knows everything now because hell if you are a wrestler and you dating somebody else they go have a picture on Twitter tomorrow to tell everybody that you date even if you want it not to be known so, you all had no choice, I guess, right? right? So, well, well, but but, but you, you do. do. See, See, the reason, the reason why, why I say that is because, because um, what, what I, I see these days, days is either, either I see, I see uh, uh, over uh, over exposure of relationships, relationships or, or I, I see, see no trace of it at all. all. Like, like it's, it's rare, rare that you see any level of a gray area. area. Like, like there, there is, is no gray area, area for most cases. cases. It's, it's either, either like, like, oh, I'm going to show you every single thing, thing my, like my significant other, other does. does. Me, me and my significant other do together, and everything they do for me, and everything I do for them. And you know, or you get to see, you don't see nothing. You don't see anything. As far as you know, this person has been single for the last four years. And you, and you don't, don't see, see and, and you don't, don't see them, them dating, dating anybody, you, you don't, don't see them posting anything about being single, single but you just, just kind of assume they are because there's no pictures or anything like, like that. that. Like, <sighs> with, with, with the, the thing, thing with their relationship, relationship is that people know that they're together, together but it didn't, didn't have to really necessarily just be thrown out there like that. Like, of course we've seen it on like, Total guns or total deeds or, or, you know, whatever. But at, at the same time, it doesn't mean, mean that they had to, like, discuss it. It didn't it have to be a, a, a conversation. It just, it just more so had to be like, oh, yeah, you know, you know, because Renee Young's been in Dean Ambrose. And that's it, right? You just could have been it. 
Um, it's like, oh, okay. And then that's the end of it, you know? Because you don't really know the details of their relationship or, like, everything they do together or nothing like that. Yeah. One of the things that I've watched that I actually thought was really interesting was when Renee Young did her unfiltered with Dean because this was a time where you've seen the two on camera together on a network for half an hour. And, but, but it, it just, just it would look like, like every other unfiltered. unfiltered. You know what I'm saying? saying? Like, like there, there was, was no like, oh, well, well, I love you, baby. I'll see, I'll you, see you later. You know, know nothing like, like that. that. It was, it, it was just was like, like two friends, friends that were having, having a conversation. conversation. And, and to me, I feel, I feel like that's just how it should be. You know, of course, people put out one of the things that has been embedded in my storyline is. John, John Cena's relationship, relationship with Nikki Bella. Bella. Of, of course. course. It's, it's been, been all over the Total Divas. Divas. It's, it's all over Total Bella. Bella. We've, We've been, been seeing it like, like over and over and over and over, over again for the longest. It's, it's not, not like we don't, don't know. know. It's, it's not like everybody doesn't know. know. But, but at the same time, just because we all know about it don't mean we have to talk about it. And for me, like, that's the thing I actually do like about the relationship between Renee and Dean before, before now was that there was, was never any discussion of it. It, it was, was just more so of, of we, we know, know that together, but we're, we're not talking about it. Like, everybody knew, but, but no one really spoke, spoke on it. It, it wasn't, wasn't nothing, nothing that was put out there. there. Until, Until the men decided, decided to bring it up and in the most ridiculous way possible. So, yeah. Um... I, I, I do still like, like her being involved, involved in the storyline. I think it's kind of awesome. awesome. But, yeah, yeah there, there could have been, been a different way that this could have happened. And I actually can think, think of a, a, a great example now. now but, yeah. like, like, it is it what it is. is. Um, so. Baron Corbin about Dolph Ziggler and beat Dolph Ziggler. Uh, with the end of days, very solid performance. I thought it was a pretty good match for both competitors. Right. Uh, then it goes haywire at the end of the match because I guess Corbin decided he wanted to beat the hell out of Ziggler some more, which I'd be probably tired of wrestling, which I would have been. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. And I mean, then, it, it and, then and, and then Kalisto shows, shows up, up, and of, of course, course he. he in the, in the process, process of trying to defend Ziggler, he gets rewarded with a super, super kick, kick to the face. face. Mm-hmm. Ha! I actually I thought that was kind of funny. funny. Am I wrong for that? that? Like, like, I feel evil, evil because of that. Like, like I was just, but, but at the same, same time, time, I really seriously thought that was kind of hilarious. Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 um, but, uh, I, well, well, here's the thing. I think. I, I, it, it, I, I'm, I'm starting, starting to realize, to realize Keith, that, that I get really, really excited when people, people turn heel. Like, like, I don't know what it is. is. And uh, I think Dolph is really with heel, which I think he's more versatile as a heel than Baron Performer as a heel. Yeah, yeah of, of course. Of course. course. I, agree. I agree. Like, I really, I really seriously believe, believe that him as a heel is like way more awesome than him as, you know, just to show off. But, but I, I, I seriously, seriously get, get excited, excited about, about these things. things. Like, like, I feel like, like yes, yes, do it again, you, you know, know, but that's yes. just me. No, no doubt. Um, so, there's that. Uh-huh. <coughs> but, yeah, Ziggler is a heel now, apparently, after kicking the hell out of Kalisto. Mm-hmm. After picking a fight with Apollo Crews. I think we got heels yeah. in there. Um, I know how much I hate this Carmella and James Ellsworth thing. As, as much as I hate, hate Carmella and James Ellsworth, Ellsworth as a whole, like, like, <laughs> like I, I mean, mean, I can't, I can't you know, know, I can't, I can't stand, stand Carmella already. already. So, so there's that. that. And that was I mean, the thing, like, individually, I can't stand them. So now, you put them together, has just <laughs> there's like this sick force. Right. right, and I'm like, exactly. why? why did y'all do this to me? 
Oh, that's horrible. horrible. Like, like personally, personally, I don't understand, understand why they even thought to do it. it. Like, like what was the, the point? point? You know, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, like, I just, I just, I just want Carmella to, like, like disappear. disappear. Like, like, I just, I just really just need her to just gone. gone. And, and James Ellsworth is still a mystery to me because I'm still trying to figure out, like, how he stuck around this song. You know? Like, who on the creative team really believes that he really needs to be around like that? Like, like I, just, I just, I don't know. know. I really seriously just, just don't understand, understand his angle or his, his deal, deal or whatever, whatever you, you want to call it. Because it's just confusing to tell. Like, why? why? You know? Yeah. So. <sighs> yeah. yeah. I can't, I can't deal with them. them. Yeah, no, yeah. I, it's it's like it's very just dis- disturbing. Um, Becky Lynch defeated La Luchadora, which right. I don't know who the second one is. What was Alexa Bliss? Uh, I don't know right. who the other lady was under the ring. Uh, That's what I'm trying to figure out. out. <laughs> but I feel like Alexa Bliss is knows who that is. Like, like she and she knows. Knows. She knows. Yeah, she knows. Uh, so that was a thing. Um, John Cena and AJ Styles had a contract signing. Um, can we just admit the contract signing is overdone at this point? It is. Well, it's, it's seriously, seriously exaggerated, exaggerated and just ridiculously done, done way, way too much. much. Look, man, it you is. got 12 pay per views. You can't be, not even 12, now you got like 19. You can't just do a contract signing every time you have a title match. Right. It's always it annoying because they, they not only do it for the men, men now they do it for the women, women too. And it's like, like oh, why? why? Look, you know? Contract signers used to be awesome. awesome. Now, now they just suck. Like, See, I used to be... I, I've watched wrestling so long. Like, I can remember like when they only did it once or twice. You know what I mean? But right. now they just do something. They just bleed something over and over again. It's like, no, man, it ain't special no more. Then, also, the, we know the fight gonna break out. So, where the fight break exactly. out? This is a waste of time. Right. Because somebody's gonna, gonna flip the table, table and, then and then the next, next thing you know, know there's, there's a chair flying, and people get beat, beat up, and, and somebody possibly gets put through, through the table. table and, and, you know, it's just. It's, it's like, like the, the same, same thing. thing. It's so repetitive. It's, it's like, why are you even. What is, what is the, the point, point, you know? I seriously, I seriously just, just can't, can't stand it half the time. Hmm. You talk back to each other. You both end up signing the thing, thing anyway. anyway. And, and then, then somebody, somebody gets a table, table flipped. flipped and, and yeah, it's, it's stupid. stupid. It's stupid. I don't understand it. I never I will understand it. it. It's just whatever. So. Yeah. But, um. So it may Reese smacks Renee Young. So be on the lookout for Renee Young probably getting involved in something down the line. And she I don't know what the boy that. that. She smacked. Well, yeah, she, she really did. Like I, I literally t- she smacked the taste out of her mouth. Cause that, that's but you know what? I'm, but I'm still, I'm still, I'm still not sold, Maurice. Like, like I just be looking at her like, like, yeah, like, whatever. Like, yeah, whatever. Like, like I'm probably, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, sure I would want to take one of those back to the face. But like, still, like I'm just like, okay, you slap the girl. Now what? Do you feel good by yourself? Do you know Daniel Bryan has fined her five thousand dollars for that? $5,000 for slapping a non-competitive uh, journalist. Like, you, he's like, you, she, because, because Maurice really slapped someone that is not on the competitive roster and is not a wrestler, he, she is, he is finding her $5,000. You know, I actually can honestly say personally, I feel like this is a personal bias towards the Miz and Maurice in the first place. And that's, and that's why, why he, he did it. But you know what? what? I think I'm going to stay out of that one. I think I'm going to smash that back a little bit, you know. But, but I really, really seriously think, think this is more biased, you know. This is this, this is that, you know. That's just, 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 just a little bit. So. I don't know. 
but she, she did, did like, like really, really like, like she took it to her. I think she came, came back, back with that, that one. one. Like, it was <laughs> it was <laughs> more so like, like all my weight, weight went into that. Slap. Slap. That felt a little personal. personal. Like, like I was, was just kind of like, like oof. Yeah, oof. Like, like she didn't tone it down. Like she might have said, uh, like they talked about, it, like yeah, go ahead, you know, do, bring it, girl. Just like all right. Bah. Like oh right, right. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, I didn't, I didn't tell, tell you to do, do it like that. that. <laughs> yeah, I'd have been like, uh, okay, I don't think we re- 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 that ain't how we rehearsed it. Right, right. I'm like, like, we didn't we discuss, discuss this. this. Wait, Wait a minute, minute. Like, like, I think that's one of the reasons why it looked so shocked. shocked. She, was she was just looking, looking like, like, oh my god, god. Like, like we really didn't, didn't talk about this. this. Mm-hmm. That is not what I told you to do. Right. So. uh American Alpha defeated the Fashion Police in a little tag team thing, and I guess they waiting on the Wyatts again for the rematch. Right. Uh, Ooh, I love American <laughs> Alpha. Yeah, how jazz are you about American Alpha? I am like so so. I am like I love American Alpha. Alpha. I've always had like I've always loved the tag team. team. And, and the, the fact, fact that they're the tag team champions right now is absolutely amazing. amazing. Like, I, I am thoroughly excited. excited. I, hope I hope they do have a long lasting run right, right now. now. Like, like, I don't, I don't want, want them to drop the titles, titles next week because that would just make me sad. Like, I really, I really hope, hope that this lasts last for a little longer than, than like a month. Like, I just really need them to give. I feel like they deserve this. You know? Like, I really do. Like, I feel like they have. Then everything, everything that they possibly could, could that this is their time, time right, right now. Right. Like, right. Of, of course, course I know, know they're going to be multiple champions, champions you know, because it's not just going to be this one, one time. time. But, but yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my God! God like I really, I really seriously wonder if they will ever break them up. You know. Don't know. Because yeah, like I'm gonna hate it. I'm gonna hate it, Keith. Like I really just don't even want that to happen. Yeah, it's kind of so, one of things that, like, I think down the line it'll happen. Yeah, like, as long as they don't make it like real messed up. Yeah, yeah that'd be awful. But uh, we'll we got a new Intercontinental Champion. Yes, that was awesome. Always man. interested. Um. I think the Miz might be the top heel on SmackDown. I mean, like, who? Who fucking with the Miz over there? No, no one. one. Like, like, to tell, tell the, the truth, truth, I think, I think he, he is, is the top, top heel on SmackDown. Like, like, period. Like, like I have to honestly say, say like, like, the Miz says things at times that really make you want to, like, dig your nails into it. Like, he just really says stuff, stuff that, that really gets under your skin. skin. Like, like if the Miz can't piss you off, like, to tell the truth, you just, you have no emotion. Like, the, 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 it's just, no, it's, it's pretty much, much that serious. serious. Yeah, you might be dead. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah like, I, right. I mean, and, and the crazy part about it is, I love it. Like, I'll be like, man, that one was deep. Dude, like, like I, I just, just I, I, but I'm, I'm really all of them for it. it. I'm, I'm for it. If you're gonna, gonna be a heel, heel you need to be a heel, heel like, like that. that. Like, like you, you need, need to be on the level. level. Like, like that man, man is a heel. Like, like I, I remember, remember when, when he had, had AJ Styles on this TV, and he pretty much told him like he pretty much told him in so many words like I'm gonna take your title. And, and I'm, I'm going, going to make, make it, it like, like the, I'm, I'm going, going to give it the prestige that it needs, like, because like, you, suck. <laughs> like, yeah. like, like, he just pretty, pretty much told AJ Styles, so many words, 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 dude, you, you suck, suck, but I'm, I'm going to take your title, title and I'm, I'm going to make it great again. Like, this is like, seriously, like, as an intercontinental champion, you're sitting here telling a WWE champion, like, you you ain't shit. But, but it's, it's okay because I'm gonna get your title, title and I'm gonna, gonna make sure that I make it the greatest thing ever. Like, like man, I have 
I swear, I swear to you, you like, like he's, he's one, one person, person where I have never just been like, oh, I can't stand him. Like, like, I love this. I do. Because the, the things, things he says, says especially these days, days lately in the past, like, few months or so, like, like the, the things, things he says is just outlandishly crazy and just, you really don't expect that to come out of someone's mouth. So tap semi true. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is there, yeah. and, and I, I think, think he, he personally, personally, I really think, think he digs deep. deep. Like, like he, he wants, wants to hit you, you. He, he wants, wants that, that nerve, nerve to be to be hit. Like, like he, he wants, wants to dig so deep. deep. Like you can, can breathe him out. out. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Like, like he digs deep, deep. and it's crazy how how personal that man can get. Which, Which is, is funny, funny because, because the one, one person, person I think, think about, um, and, and I don't know if he does that, that but the one person I think about that was a heel like that was Triple H. Like, like when I go back and watch Triple H's like, like earlier stuff, stuff, you know, like, like 99, 2000, 2000-ish. that man was horrible. Like, like not horrible, horrible in a sense, like, like he, he was just saying, like, like horrible in a sense, sense like, like, he, he was, was just a complete, complete asshole. Oh, no, but no, he was Man, good. it was good. Yeah, yeah. but like, all oh, man, it was good stuff. Like, like, that, that, that time, time thing was most, most of the time. time. Like, like, that man is just horrible. horrible. But, like, man, it's just some good shit. Like, like, if you're going to be a heel, man, go for it. Like, please, like, Go, Go all, all the way, way in. Because, I, I mean, there's just no point. If you're, you're not, not then there's no point. There's no, no such thing as a nice deal. Like, like, this is don't even. even. So. so. But yeah, I am I'm excited, excited about, about being winning in a kind of title. I'm not going to lie. I don't change my ass off. And, and the fact that he, instead of getting disqualified, he had... Uh, uh, Maury uh, ejected, ejected from Wayne's side was even better because he, he survived a shot, shot uh, with, with, from, from the belt. belt. He still he ended, ended up winning the match and it ended, ended up being a two. I did not, not know, know that he is, is this is only his second uh, Intercontinental in Championship. Yeah, um, I mean, he had a good run with it the first time, and then of course I think he had one time where he just he had possession of the belt. I don't know if he was a champ, right. uh, but you know, D, no, you know, he, he. I know there was one, one time, time when he was just running around, around with it because he stole it, it. But, but I didn't know that he only had, had one other in the continental title. Like, like I, really I really thought, thought it was more than that. that. But, but I, I guess, guess you know, nonetheless, I mean, he has. He's, He's been, been a U.S. US champion, an uh, intercontinental champion. champion. He's, He's been, been WWE champion. champion. So, because he has a hell of a tag team title. title. So, um, no, cause that's, that's deep. deep. But hey, that's man, deep for you, man. Still, triple crown champ. I mean, well, not triple right. crown. I think he got to win the tag team to get the triple crown. No, 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 I mean, I mean he's, he's won three times, so. Hmm. Um, he, he would need. need no, he, he's not a grand. Champion. Yeah, he's not a grand slam champion. That's what he's not. Yeah. But, but all he got to do, do is win a tag team title. title. But the Miz, like, the like, Miz is, is a grand slam. slam. <laughs> because <laughs> I think he's, he's won, won every, every title. title. He's no, been a he's U.S. champion in a continental. Quietly, he has put together a Hall of Fame resume. Yeah, yeah like, like he's, he's been, been in WWE champion. champion in a in a ha- ha- and he, he wait, did he have two WWE, WWE title, title reigns, or was, was it just one? one? Just one title reign. I think at the cash in one. Right, and, and then, then he's, he's been, been a tag team champion, in a continental champion, six times. He's been a U.S. champion. Um. I already, I already said, said tag team, right? right? Yeah, yeah, like, like I just, just man, that man, man is golden, golden. And, and I don't even think people realize that. that. So, but, but the, 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 he, he always, always uses you. 
And, and I, I think, think so. He'll, he'll have, have another WWE yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, well, forgive me if I'm going to call it. Um, um, he'll have another title. title. Real, Real soon. soon. Real, Real soon. soon. But, but I, I think, think that's one of the reasons why. I think this thing with Dean is going to go on for a little bit, but he's gunning for that title, man. Like, mark my words, by summer he'll be WWE champion. That's just how I see it. So, I don't know, man. Yeah. But that was SmackDown. Yeah. Um, I'll say this: uh, great show, and they were they uh, they they did what they need to do to get this year kicked off right. Um, Right. right. That's it. We'll be back um, next week with um, more leading up to the Royal Rumble to figure out. Keeps, this is going to be one of the most interesting Royal Rumbles in a long time. Mm-hmm. I mean, in a long it time. It is. Because uh, I definitely I agree. agree. We don't really know who's going to do what. And you got so many people coming from so many different angles. I don't really know. Like, I mean, WrestleMania season is going to be interesting. Right. right. It is. That, that I can agree with. with. So. We'll, see we'll see what happens, happens man. man. Like, I'm, I'm excited, excited to actually, actually uh, see, see what develops from all of this. You know, you know like, like it's, yeah. it's about to be deep. Like, like what's like, like, what like, what Rumble is about, about to be? <sighs> it's going to be packed. Now, are they going to do 15 and 15? Like, like they, they did previously the brand split, split, you know, you know 15, 15 from Raw, 15, 15 from Strat, from SmackDown, because I know they're not going to have two individual Royal Rumble matches. Like, that's no, just, they're not going to do that. That's just ridiculous. Uh, it's going to be, it's not probably going to be even. And best believe you're going to have some people from NXT, and you're going to have your surprise entrance. Interests. Right. So I I don't know how many we're gonna have, but it's but see that's why I say I don't think it's gonna be fifteen to fifteen. I can tell you that much. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think so either. either. Hey, hey man, man, um, Undertaker is rumored to be on Raw Monday. Monday. Ooh. Yeah. I can't, I can't wait, wait to see that. that. Yep. So I can't, I can't wait, wait to see what Shawn Michaels, Michaels has to say. say. Uh, this, this is going to be awesome. awesome. So, we'll definitely, definitely hear from us next week. week I'm going to have plenty to say about, about that. that. Yeah, um, they're teasing it, so they're trying to put something together. Right, right. right. Exactly. exactly. It's, it's going to be right, Keith. This is interesting. It's going to keep getting interesting. Especially until the Royal Rumble actually happens. Actually happens. So, how many weeks do we have until Royal Rumble? Like, two, three? Uh, I'm going to three. three weeks. Yeah. So, well, I'm, I'm excited. excited. Right. Um, it is what it is. Right. So, so with that big thing being said, um, oh, hey, I'm looking at a picture of Cassius Ono, a.k.a. Chris Hero and Triple H, and it's saying, welcome back. What? This is funny. Hero railed on the internet because a lot of people on the internet was talking about him possibly coming back to WWE, and he railed on the internet like, "Hey man, y'all talking too much. Y'all out here with these rumors, man. Y'all don't know nothing." Yeah, we do. You're right. Coming back. Here you go. Well, not to mention, it's first it's of all, you you never really went that far away. You spent a lot of time wrestling and evolve. And you know Evolve got a working relationship with the WWE, so they never really fell too far out of favor with each other. Exactly. I think they wanted him to get to a certain level of shape that he really wasn't trying to get in, and it just didn't work out. But now he's back. So uh, I think it's good. I think they can use a guy like Hero, and I think I hope, I hope the best for the guy. Um, With that, Keish, yeah, I think we can wrap this up, put a bow on it. We got it in under two hours. All right. <laughs> for the first time in a long time. Shout out to getting shit done early. <laughs> right. I know, right? 
But, you know, you know we, we all got, got, got lives and stuff. We're grown up with stuff to do. And we know you're grown up with stuff to do. Right. So, and if you're not a grown up, I still take the download. But uh, with that being said, <laughs> we are out this bitch, and we'll talk to you later. Peace. Bye.